and I have 11 companies that I want to qualify. I go to my make.com and I click run once. And what we can see is that it starts qualifying them and it also gives me the reason why they are not qualified. Dealing with unqualified people in your business can be a huge headache. Usually they waste a lot of your time, maybe your sales team time, and they don't convert. Even if they convert, they don't stay for long. So they waste all your resources, they are a huge headache, and it doesn't have to be this way because the earlier we get them out of our system, the more resources we save, the more we save time for your sales team, for your onboarding team, for your fulfillment team. And what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you step by step how to build an AI lead qualifier or AI lead scoring that will essentially disqualify the people that you don't wanna work with and will allow you to increase conversions, get your salespeople only on qualified calls with people that can actually buy your thing and you can actually help them and ultimately it will free up your ad space because dealing with people that you don't want to work with can be really tedious. So what we'll do first of all is I'll show you a quick demo of how it works. Then I'll show you step by step explanation with a flowchart and everything of how it works and how you can integrate it in your business. And finally, we'll go to make.com and we'll build this thing together so you can apply it for your business as well. So let's get started. So I created this error table for this example and I have like 11 companies that I want to qualify. I go to my make.com and I click run once and what we can see is that it starts qualifying them and it also gives me the reason why they are not qualified so if i'll take a look at the explanation for example this one so fedom is the healthcare industry the company is 51 to 200 which is not in the range of 5 to 100 additionally the services are not aligned with our ideal customer profile great if i'll take a look at one that is qualified retail company based in montreal canada focuses on the ideal client great Another one based in Montreal, Canada, ideal client, great. So that's pretty cool. With one click, we can just get all the qualified people and we don't need to handle the other people. So let's see how it actually works step by step. So this process works for building an AI lead qualifier or AI lead scoring. And actually before recording this video, I built for myself an AI lead scoring system. It can get a little bit complex because you get some scores and sometimes it can be confusing like what's the score and why did we get this? But if we give leads some score and in the end we say, okay, if they have above 80 score, then they are highly qualified, then we can deal with them. Or instead of this, what I did is I just built this AI lead qualifier that is telling me qualified or not qualified. So essentially we have leads that are coming from all sorts of places. Maybe it's called email, some paid communities or public communities. We have ads, we have inbound, outbound. We have all sorts of leads that are coming from all the places and we essentially want to qualify them. Before we even think about qualifying them, we need to get enough data so we can qualify them. This little bit ties to the next stage, which is defining with the ICP and it will help us to know which data points we need. But before we qualify them, we need to enrich them. And the way we do this is it really depends where they came from. So for example, if they came from LinkedIn, it's pretty easy. We can go get the company information. We can go with the company size, get all this information and save it and then qualify them. But for example, if you got them from Facebook or X, it can be not so easy to find them because sometimes people are using fake names or random profiles. So it really depends the lead source for us to enrich it. As a rule of thumb, LinkedIn is the best B2B database right now for all companies. Lead databases like Apollo IO, ZoomInfo are scraping these sources and using LinkedIn and Crunchbase and other sources to get all their information. So you can go directly to LinkedIn to get this information or you can use the databases themselves and an API. Next, what we need to do is we need to define our ICP. For the purpose of this video, we are going to focus only on one type of definition, which is the first one. Let's break down like the three categories. So the first one is like simple stats about the company. It's job title of the person, company size, industry, location. Is it B2B? Is the service the same as us, like competitor or offering the same things? And obviously we don't want to reach out to them. And we also, after this, we have like behavioral data. So if they downloaded our lead magnet, visited our website, and so on. And we also have engagement level, how much we engage, they engage with us on what frequency. So for this purpose of this video, we'll focus on this one. So we define this, we have like the number of employees, industries that we want to work with, industries that you don't want to work with, locations that you want to include, locations that you want to exclude. If you are selling B2B, then B2B, and this video is specifically for B2B. And you also want to define your service and offer. And this is obviously some things that you did once you started this business, but you want to have some description, maybe 
two, three lines of what's the business, what deliverables you are doing, and what's actually you are offering. Once we have all this data, we go and we start working with the actual AI agent or LLM. We can use open AI models, we can use Anthropic, whatever model that you want to use. And essentially qualifying it's a pretty simple task for these LLMs these days. So we don't need really something complicated. And what we do is we give it context. So we give it the ICP that we defined before. We give it description of the service that we are offering. We give it some examples of qualified leads, not qualified leads. The more examples you give, the better. Like you can start with qualified and not qualified. You can also give it, for example, not qualified because of company size, not qualified because of location. And you can play with the examples. The more examples you give it, the better it will get. And a quick way to optimize this is you can go and you can take this description that you wrote. You can take the list of qualified and not qualified leads. Maybe you qualify them manually. Maybe you have a record of leads that SDRs qualified for you in the past. And maybe you have some draft description of your ICP. You take these three data points and you just go to the AI and tell it, okay, based on this list of qualified leads and unqualified leads, based on my service and based on the draft description I wrote uh, about my ICP, give me a short explanation of the ICP. So then it will help you to optimize this prompt and tell the AI exactly what's the ICP that you are looking for. And that's going to be basically the AI agent that is going to qualify. It's going to have the context, the examples and your service and everything. And all we do is just send it these leads to this AI agent with the data that we got about the company. And we make sure that they are fitting this criteria. And in the end, what we get is two things. We get the status, whether it's qualified or not qualified. And we get the reason or explanation of why it's qualified or not qualified. The reason why we want explanation is sometimes the AI can hallucinate or give you the results that you don't want. So you want to track it and see why it gives you these results. And this will allow you to optimize it until you get the result that you want. And then you essentially save it on your CRM, AppSpot or Airtable or whatever. And then it really depends on your funnel and how you handle things. But either you handle you or your sales team are handling high score, high qualified leads in your CRM, or maybe if it's a cold email campaign, you decide, okay, if they are qualified, let's, let's upload them to the sender and send them emails. If they are not, don't upload them. And that's basically it. Recently, I built this system for myself. And what happened is I got a lot of leads from Apollo for cold email campaigns. And while you can use their filtering by industry, company size, and so on, sometimes their data is not that updated. And sometimes they give you some leads that are not related. So for example, I got this beef, I don't know, some company that's selling beef to B2B companies or something. I'm not sure what's, what was the offer, but it's not relevant for me. And having this AI qualifier allowed me to remove them from my funnel. Because imagine you, you get them on the funnel, you send them emails, you send them follow-ups. They show up in your stats and you think, okay, my messaging is not working. But it's not your messaging. It's the fact that you are sending messages to businesses that are not even relevant. So let's take a look how you can build this yourself with make.com and no code tools. The first thing we do is we have this lead list that we store them on Airtable. You decide wherever you want to store your leads, whether it's the CRM, whether it's Google Sheets, whatever that you're using, but you need to store your leads in a way that you can access them with API and it's easy. For me, Airtable is the best tool for this. And what we are doing here is what you'll need to do is you need to connect your Airtable. You need to pick your base and the table and you need to select qualify status. So what we have here is we have qualify status and qualify reason. This is two rows that the AI qualifier is going to fill. And what I'm telling here, the, the module, we are using a search records module that will give me records that are, that don't have the qualify status. On the purpose of this example, I'm taking 11, I can take three, but essentially if I can, if I run this automatically every hour, what it will do is it will give me all the leads that don't have the status qualify. So once we run this automation that is giving us all the search records, we want to get all the information about each record. So we want to get all this in, in our make.com. So we use the get a record module and essentially we, we transfer the record ID. So if we take a look here, we can see that we get everything about the company. So we have here the email, the company about the USP and everything that I showed you on the table itself. And now starts the interesting part. So. Before we run the AI, what I like to do is I like to extract the inputs because that way it's easy to edit and also it's easy to record this video this way. So essentially I'm taking the inputs that I'm sending to the AI outside 
and then if I want to edit them, I can do this. So the first variable here is the service description. So I just went to ChatGPT and wrote some description here. The service that we are selling is a boutique email marketing agency that provides customized email marketing strategies and so on. So essentially email marketing agency. The next variable is examples, as I mentioned before. So the example here is we give it a lead um, industry e-commerce, 25 employees, United States. The result is that it's qualified. And the reason it's because this reason example two is company that is 50 in Canada marketing agency and it's disqualified because already offers marketing email marketing services. So there is a service overlap here and you can add more examples for each case that you have. Next is we define our ideal customer profile. So I like to use JSON in this case because it's gathering all the variables in one place. Of course, we can use set variables as we did before, but in this way, it's all in one place. So the way it works is we have a few things here, five attributes or five values. We have the description of our ICP in simple words. So in this case, B2C companies or e-commerce brands looking for personalized email marketing and so on and so on. We define our disqualified industries. So we don't want to work with B2B SaaS, financial services and software development companies. The employee count is five to 100. The location is that we want to work with is United States, Australia, Canada, and the job titles that we are targeting is founders, CMOs, head of marketing and so on. So once we create this JSON, what I noticed is that it gets me all the string of the JSON. So what I, once I do run the output is this long JSON string. But what I want to do is I want to access each one of them separately. So what we use is we use the parse JSON and we just transfer the JSON from the previous step. And if we'll take a look at the output, you'll see that we have it as an object. So we can actually use location, job title, description um, separately. Okay, and now starts the magic. So we prepared all the inputs and now we send it to the LLM. In this case, I'm using OpenAI LLM. You need to connect your OpenAI API connection here. If you are not sure what I'm talking about here, there is a different video. I'll link it below on how to use it for beginners, the OpenAI connection and everything, how to set this up. What we are using here is I'm using the latest model, which is GPT 4.0 and we are using create a chat completion. The first message message is always the system message, which is the actual job and it's always the same job. So here what we do is I take all the inputs from the previous steps. I give it some context and I tell it, okay, based on this information, tell me if it's qualified or not qualified and also give me the explanation why you decided it this way. And this system message is always staying the same. We don't change it. The only thing that is changing the user input. So what we do is we send another message as the user and we give it lead. And essentially I take the data from step 10, which is the record. And I just send it the LinkedIn company details. What I forgot to mention is that when I prepare this table, what I did is I have this Python automation that is essentially taking the, which is taking the company LinkedIn URL. It's going to the, the link and it's extracting all the information about the company and it's giving me this JSON. So this JSON is including everything I need for this case, the company name, the about what they are doing, the company website, the size and everything we need. And as I mentioned, LinkedIn is a pretty useful resource resource for doing this. So all I do in this AI agent is I just, as the user, I send it all the company details and you can play with this. So if you have more details that you want to send, like the headline of the website or the ICP that you extracted from the website or some other information, you can send it here. The next thing is max tokens. So again, I'm not going to explain in detail. You can watch the video in the link below, but so if we give it low number of tokens, maybe it will not have enough processing power to process the task that we give it. So it might give it some wrong answers. On the other end, if we give it a lot of tokens, it might use only a few of them. So if you don't know how much tokens to put, you, you will understand this uh, with time, with experience. But if you don't know how much to put, put the maximum and see how much it's using and you can tweak it. Temperature, we put it zero because the more it's high, the more it's creative it is. We don't want to be creative. We just want to tell me if it's qualified or not qualified. And the final thing that we need here is response format. So as I mentioned, we need two outputs out of this AI. Reason, uh, the explanation of, and the status. 
In this case, we are getting a JSON that has the status and the explanation, and we need to make sure that the response uh, format is not text, it's response object. We click OK, and this is our AI agent. And the next thing we do is if we'll take a look at the actual output that we get, if we'll take a look at choices, number one, message, and we'll take a look at the content, we essentially get this JSON that we talked about, so status and explanation. And now we want to save it back to the Airtable so to know if it's qualified or not. So we again use the parse JSON. We send it the output from the, from the chat GPT from the OpenAI. And then if we'll take a look again at the output of this, we get an actual object, like we get fields that we can use in our automation. So status and explanation. And all we do here is we take an update a record module from Airtable. We give it the ID from the first step, from this step, the 10th step. And we can also, if, if we go here, it's marking the, the 10th step. And then we find the record, the fields that we wanna update. And we just put 16 um, from the 16th step. We put the status and explanation, we save, and it updates everything. So I'm gonna run another example here, but before we do this, a quick summary. So we get a lot of leads from the error table. We get the information of each record from the leads. We set our own information. The AI is set up to one prompt and one job to do. All the things that are changing are just the information about the lead itself. In the end, it gives us the output is what's the status and explanation of why you decided this is the status. Then we just parse this response and we update the record on our air table. Okay, so let's run another example here. So all I did is I filled some information from ChatGPT. You of course fill your own information. But now what we are selling is an SEO AI driven optimization tool for small businesses. It helps them do some SEO. And we set some new examples here. So for um, qualified and another one qualified and another one disqualified. And we define our ICP. So ICP is the small businesses looking to improve their SEO performance, increasing organic, blah, blah, blah. We disqualify industries that are large enterprises, nonprofits, government organizations. We are looking for five to 50 employee count. This is the locations that we are looking for and this is the job titles. And of course, what I did is I cleaned this table and all I'm doing here is, let's make sure that it's taking all the records. So we put here 11, I click OK, I click Run and we go back to our table and we see that Slowly, it's telling us if it's qualified or not qualified. For now, everyone is not qualified. Okay, let's see this one. We take a look. Okay, the advertising services, 11 to 50. They can benefit from our SEO tool. Cool, so now I have a list of qualified or not qualified leads and I can then handle them on my... And that's it. In one click, I can qualify thousands of leads with AI and automation. So that's it for this video. Hope you learned something new. And before you go, in next weeks, I'm gonna upload, if it's not there on the channel yet, I'm gonna upload a video on how to enrich your data and the leads. And one of the steps that I mentioned, you need to enrich your leads so you can qualify them. If you wanna make sure that you get this and you watch it, click the subscribe button. If you like videos like this, make sure to click the like below. And also there is a link below on a free training on how to automate lead generation with AI, step by step on how to build each step of the process for free so all you need to do is you need to go to the link fill your information you will see the free training and you can apply this for your business and also in this page as well what you will see is a link to schedule a call with me if it's relevant and you want to apply this for your business and you don't have time to apply for the, your business you can schedule a call we can go through your business what you're doing right now with lead generation we can see if we can apply ai to this and save Instead of hiring people or new full-time SDRs, we can replace some of these with AI agents. So all you need to do is go watch this free training. If, if it's relevant, you can schedule a call. But regardless of this, you can watch this free training and apply it in your business anyway, because I go actually step-by-step step on all the process of applying this for your business. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.